I am so in love with you. And, and you're, you're, you're in me. It's like you're, it's like you're a disease and I am infected by you. <laughs> I didn't have you in my life it's like I just dream about you all the time that's right friends I'm talking about coffee <laughs> mm -hmm. the real love of my life <laughs> hello friends um, back in the car again uh, it's been a long time since we've had a little sit down chat in the car so I thought as I'm just uh, headed out on a sunny walk as I do a lot uh, just lately, I would uh, sit down and show you a few of my favourite things. So of course, we've started off with coffee. Um, hope you like the intro there, something a little different. Uh, I don't think my love of coffee is going anywhere. But we are into September now, and I've seen a lot of um, favourites videos out on YouTube. I didn't know whether to go seasonal or a month of September or just things that I like. So I went with uh, a few of my favourite things, and here's where we're starting. So if anyone does follow me on Instagram you may have noticed I've become a little bit of a um, sweaty selfie lover I've been going to the gym on a daily basis uh, I've not seen any effects yet but I am feeling the effects so uh, the gym has to be number one on my list of uh, favorite things at the moment I've just completed week six so uh, fingers crossed that means it's embedded into my psyche now and I'm gonna keep going with that one and along that uh, theme my first tangible favorite thing that I'd like to show you is this. Now I come in this little uh, drawstring bag and it is uh, the medium uh, resistance band from Gymshark. I love it. So when I I'm not at the gym. I don't take it with me. I'm not that intense. I only do these at home, but I love to squat. Yes, I am making the effort to get my squats back in. So of course I'm doing a lot of leg things like spinning and stuff at the gym um, and a few little mini bits of weights and classes that I've just started over the past week. But this resistance band is where it's at. I love it. So I've been doing a few different exercises. There are many, many more out there, I know, but I am uh, just a beginner at the at, at the beginning. <laughs> just at the start of my uh, weight loss and fitness journey yet again and this is my number one so I think it's about 15 pounds from uh, Gymshark website I bought it alongside some leggings that I am yet to venture out in because I just wanted to be a little bit fitter when I went in them uh, but yes that is what's happening so um, Gymshark resistance band number one on my list or is it three after the gym and coffee um <laughs> Okay, so next up then, Carex. Oh, and my car. So Carex, I have been using these little Carex um, hand gel, I don't know how many years, many, many years, and many, many flavours. Do you call them flavours? Fragrance, scents. And I've been showing them in a lot of my videos over time, a lot over Instagram, and especially with the pandemic, I'm sure a lot of you guys are using this kind of thing as well. I just picked up this fun edition the other day. I saw it and thought, why not? I've tried probably every other smell. And this one is a sherbet lemon. So uh, it's a little Mr. Men and Little Miss Sher Sherbet Lemon quick dry uh, hand gel. And it is a must. Um, even if you don't want to use Carex, um, do use one that has a high alcohol level, uh, around 69-70% I think is enough to um, kill most things. A um, little handy one in your bag. I tell you, I actually um, have a, a large Carex, um, I think it's about £3.50 from Asda, and then I refill the little ones to make sure I've always got one in every bag, like my gym bag, my handbag, the car, just uh, in a pocket if I go for a walk, just making sure 
safety first. So uh, Carex quick drying uh, hand sanitizer gel is up there on my favorites list. Okay, so um, I've popped my hair up because I'm starting to uh, get a little sweaty in the car. <laughs> We're steaming up a little bit. There's a, a few people that are parked nearby and giving me some strange looks. Um, but on that vein, of course, I have been going to the gym a lot and this little beauty is always with me. Now, I do have the smaller ones uh, sometimes in my handbag and sometimes the very large ones that I keep in the boot of the car or the trunk for my American viewers um, just uh, for out and about you Use. Um, but yes, this dry shampoo is legendary. A few different fragrances that I go to, but I do love the tropical. Um, Batiste is my favourite that I found at the moment that works with me, that doesn't make me too um, greasy or white bits in my hair. Um, I'm sure a lot of you out there have different ideas. Please do comment down below if there's something that I'm missing, but this is my favourite. So, um, coconut and exotic whatever exotic <laughs> smells like but yes tropical scents or I think the other one is like a, a cherry blossom oh it's got cherries on it anyway um those are my two go-to's but dry shampoo definitely up on my favorites list along those lines then um it's not a brand that I would go to for everything but it has certain things that I go to without a doubt and have done for many years and that is Sanctuary Spa. Um, many many years ago when I first smelt it I thought it was a little bit um, too much fragrance for me. Over the years I have grown to love it especially this product. Um, throughout the summer months or whenever the sun happens in England because that could be any month <laughs> like now late September and we've got the sun back. Um, if uh, you're showering a lot or scrubbing and exfoliating a lot it's always good to moisturize um, but I find that this uh, body moisture spray works best for me. I, I love a moisturizer I've got lots of different ones from Lush um, but I like to not feel them sliding off me if that makes sense I like to feel very nourished um, but actually them go in and I know one thing doesn't work for everybody. I do use many different products, but this is my absolute favorite. Um, it's not the cheapest. <laughs> I think it's maybe between four and seven pound, depending on what kind of offer you can get it on in boots, but it is definitely worth it. It goes a long way. You can see this one's about here right now. I think I bought this on an offer where there was two for a certain price a while back, but um, it's easy for things like your back because you can spray it on and you don't have to rub it in. You can just leave it to go in, but um, it's always a go-to for your legs, even if um, like they're just looking a little bit dry and you're heading out in a skirt or short just spritz over them and give them that glean as well so it's a great moisturizer smells divine and uh, soaks in wonderfully so um, if that's not advert enough sanctuary spa from boots <laughs> one of my go-to's and definitely on my favorites list okay so like many of us out there I'm sure we found ourselves with a lot of extra hours on our hands and for myself I have mentioned many times I do get insomnia so I have a few extra hours on my hands <laughs> so apart from enjoying uh, time with my family which of course is one of my definite favorite things if anyone saw my last vlog just lately we've been going on um, uh, Sunday walks down um, to the canals and uh, just discovering new little um, areas to venture out with um, four or five generations of my family with my nan my mom my sister and my nieces as well so um yeah some great times there and definitely a firm favorite out for those sunny walks but with the extra hours and um time to kill it's nice to keep your brain entertained now i know well, you're on YouTube right now, hopefully watching me. So uh, a lot of you out there watch probably many different YouTubers. And I'd like to just give a little uh, shout out or appreciation, show the love for a few small YouTubers like myself that are out there doing their best, better than me, actually. <laughs> but I just wanted to um, give them a little... Um, I'll send them some love actually I just wanted to send them some love and uh, first up then uh, I'll show you just his Instagram I'll give you a little insert but this is my uh, iPhone 10 by the way <laughs> my old phone uh, and that is Philip Brown now I met Philip um, I had the pleasure of meeting Philip many many years ago uh, whilst I was working on cruise ships so I've heard him sing live and he is sensational absolutely amazing um a great talent a great guy uh very physically fit makes me very jealous with his gym goals and um just a pleasure to 
to know, to be around, to watch, to listen to. He does have a YouTube channel and of course his Instagram. And please, 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 if you love musical theatre or music in general, he's got a fantastic voice and show him some love. Of course, with what's happening in the world at the moment, life isn't easy for performers. Of course, they're not traveling on, you know, said cruise ships and um, doing the things that they love the most in theatre in the West End. So uh, they need all the love out there sending their way. And Phil Brown, Philip, um, is on my list of things just to uh, to love and appreciate. So please go and uh, check him out on uh, YouTube and Instagram. Next up then, uh, a lady that actually convinced me to take that final push to start my channel and that is June. June Stay, she also has a YouTube and Instagram. I should have probably just found her Instagram to uh, give you a little look-see into her first of all. Now we met uh, just over a year ago, I think it was about last uh, May time maybe, May or July perhaps, um, as we were filming an episode of Emmerdale and just one day we spent together, we clicked, uh, had a lot of things in common and I mentioned that I would like to start a YouTube channel and she just turned around and went, yeah, I have one. So I was just obviously in awe straight away. She also has a sensational singing voice. So please do go and check her out. I will insert her details once again uh, so you can find her both on YouTube and Instagram. She's actually studying musical theatre. Sorry, June, if I've got that wrong. Uh, in, is it a musical theatre? Uh, it's not a degree. What is it? Like a stage school, a uh, drama school? I don't know, I'm sorry. I do pay attention, honest. Um, but she's a great one to watch for not only a day in the life, she does a lot of she does a lot of day in the life, uh, so things that she gets up to, but also throughout lockdown, her studies and things that have been done via Zoom, so singing lessons, dance, drama, and also um, shopping. She is a shopper, so she's a girl after my own heart. So um, she does a lot of hauls, uh, try-ons, um, she's got fabulous curly hair that she's been doing a lot about just lately. So for all your kind of like fun, um, outings, shopping, uh, hauls, she is definitely the one to watch. Um, she posts some fabulous pictures on Instagram and some uh, great videos on YouTube. So please go and give her a follow and a watch and uh, show the support and love that she deserves. So that's uh, two of my uh, little shout outs there for YouTube and Instagram for smaller YouTubers out there because of course it is a very difficult um, it's not a line of work, what is it? Passion, hobby to get into, uh, to get a following and support. And most of the time, it's not because people don't want to watch us, it's because they don't know we're there. So June, Phil, they're out there. Go and give them a follow. Okay, so I think you guys know by now, there is one huge YouTuber that I follow all the time and, and that is Adeline Morin. So I did just get her merch uh, through over the past couple of weeks. I think it came in three packages. I ordered it a few months ago. I will get it. I will get it. I am going to insert some pictures here because not only did the merch come and as ever I'm very excited and grateful. I know some of the proceeds go to um, charities that help support women. She's all for girls supporting girls that is her slogan, a catchphrase and she gave me love back. So I posted um, myself and the merch on Instagram as I always do. I like to share with you guys or anybody that wants to watch me out there um, the things that I love and what I'm getting up to and not only did she like my pictures they were reposted on her account so I was not only just in her story but on her feed and yeah my heart oh my goodness so Adeline Morin sees me so um, yeah big big love there for Adeline so um give her a follow. I don't think she needs any help getting new followers. She has music out now as well. Um, yeah, some fantastic songs that are available on iTunes and yes I do have them um, but <laughs> she's great fun to watch. Um, take my advice, live in the moment and have fun because that's what those guys are all about. They're, we're all out there for positivity, I think supporting other people, keeping a smile on our face and keeping the world going is the key here. All I'm trying to say is, yes, life is tough. Things are going on outside there and inside here and we can still smile. There is always going to be Starbucks in the world. Ah. 
<laughs> no. I do have one more um, tangible thing to show you here. I don't know if this is back out in the shops as yet, but last season, no, the last season this was out a while back, I bought two and I've been saving this one. So I've started using it again. I've actually been putting it in my gym bag and that is Snow Fairy, um, the body spray from Lush. Now, Snow Fairy does come in lots of different products um, for the bathroom, um, for your skin and for the shower. And I've talked about this a few times on my channel, but the body spray is, of course, just a nice, easy way of spritzing the fragrance um, all over you, uh, especially when you're heading to the gym and you want that kind of like invigorating sense. It's nice just to have something that makes you smile. And Snow Fairy definitely does that for me. So, um, it says just the thing for fairies, pixies, imps and magical creatures of all kinds who need a sugary sweet pick me up. Well, if that's not just me. <laughs> so Snow Fairy is on my list. So um, not much to say today. I just wanted to hop on here because I know that it's been a little while. I've been hitting the gym hard. As I said, I've seen no real results at the moment. A couple of people have mentioned to me that they can, which is very nice, always welcome. But I am going to put together a uh, fitness kind of vlog, I think, just to mention a few things that I'm getting up to and how you guys can do things in the real world. Who knows what's going to happen if there's going to be another lockdown or I don't know. I don't know. I'm sitting here actually. And not only is this half of the car steaming up, all I can see from the other side, is like the Santa Ana winds are just blowing the, uh, the dust across the car park. Um, I'm going to head out now and have my walk in the sunshine and just enjoy some fresh air. Today, I haven't gone to the gym and I... I'm feeling a little um, ambivalent about that, I think. I, I've i got the bug now. I'm definitely ready to hit the gym hard every day, do something. I'm not hitting the gym hard, let's face it. I'm still me. But I'm doing something more than I used to do, so it's something. But I find it difficult to not go on the days when I tell myself I'm not going. I keep thinking, well, it's still open. I could still go. So I thought, come out, get some fresh air, see you guys, and tell you what I'm loving and I'm loving you guys so please do uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what you see if you've not already subscribed and give me that thumbs up if you want to see some more from me so uh, if there's any products in here that you enjoy please let me know in the comments down below and of course tell me what you're enjoying is there something that I'm missing out on because I certainly need to know that inner shopaholic in me has to uh, venture onto that online shopping even if I'm not out in the town. So whatever you guys are up to and spending your money on, do let me know and I shall see you on the flip side. Okay, I don't know how I forgot this, but it has to be said, one of my favorite things right now is the iOS updates. You know I'm an Apple fan and the iOS 14 for the phone and iOS 7 for the watch, Memojis, my watch face Memoji in my mask. Thank you, Apple. See you on the flip side.